Welcome back to MC Studios, where we performance test solar panels and crash test solar inverters in order to cut through the solar industry marketing garbage and discover how current solar products really work. Here's a question for you. Is your solar panel warranty worth the paper it's written on? Will a little bit of shade void your solar panel warranty? Now, before we get into today's topic, give me a thumbs up. It's taken me over four months to get the results for this video, so a little bit of love would be much appreciated. So yeah, that's the topic for today. Will you void your 25-year solar panel warranty if over the next 25 years, your solar panels are installed in a location where they will occasionally see partial shade? Today, I'm going to show you how most solar panel manufacturers have what I consider to be a 25-year get-out-of-jail-free card written into their installation manuals. And I'll tell you about the journey that I've been on with SunPower and Q-Cells. I'll tell you about my attempts to get them to change their get-out-of-jail-free clause. Now, as solar panels become more and more affordable and electricity prices increase, the best way to size a solar system is just often to fill the roof with solar panels. Naturally, this means the panels are not always going to be installed in the most ideal location. Some panels will get shaded at certain times of the day and produce less. But did you know that shading a panel can damage it? Here's why. When a part of a solar panel is shaded, it stops producing energy and starts consuming some energy from the other panels. This energy is dissipated as heat. If that shade remains on the panel for a long time, it'll create a hot spot on the panel and it may damage the cells and the back sheet. However, panels come with hot spot protection or these little devices called a bypass diode. Each panel has three of them. The primary job for the bypass diode is to minimize the hot spot damage caused by the shade. Here's basically how they work. When a solar cell is shaded, it creates a reverse voltage. When that voltage reaches a critical point, the bypass diode will engage or close. The energy from the other panels will then bypass the shaded cells before those cells are damaged. However, if this shade happens too regularly, it may not only damage your solar cells, but damage the bypass diodes as well. But how much shade is too much shade? Will too much shade void your warranty? If you look up just about any panel warranty document, it'll say, if you don't follow their install manual, your warranty is void, which sounds fair enough. So let's look at the installation manuals. I started by looking at what I consider to be the best panel on earth, SunPower's new 415 watt Maxion 5 panel. This panel comes with an Enphase microinverter attached to it. Pretty obviously, the product was designed to be installed on shaded roofs. But exactly how much shade will SunPower allow? Well, let's have a look at their install manual. And it says, shading needs to be avoided during the solar system operation. And it also says, the solar system should be disconnected if you perform maintenance on the roof, which causes shading. For example, chimney sweeping or roof maintenance or antenna installation. <laughs> What a joke. So according to SunPower's install manual, not only do we need to avoid shading from trees, but even if we jump up on the roof to clean the, chi clean the chimney, we need to turn the system off. And this is for SunPower's Max 5 solar panel, a panel with a microinverter built into it. So at MC Electrical, we also install Q-Cells. So I looked at Q-Cell solar panel installation manual, hoping for some sanity. But no, it says, Avoid shadowing from buildings and chimneys or trees and avoid partial shading from overhead lines, dirt and snow. I then looked up a total of 10 different solar panel manufacturers installation manuals. Every manufacturer said we must not install solar panels in partial shade, except for REC who said try to avoid shade, but if you can't, keep the shade to an absolute minimum. So think about it. There's a whole industry within the solar industry built on the fact that solar panels are going to see some kind of shade. You know, optimizers, microinverters, and innovations like Fronius's Dynamic Peak Manager and SMA's Shade Fix. They're all made to help solar panels deal with the shade. Meanwhile, 
solar panel manufacturers are having a laugh amongst themselves saying, yeah, right, just make sure you uh, follow our install manual if you want to keep your 25-year panel warranty, you know. Now, let me know in the comments below if the panel you use or installed on your roof can be installed in temporary shade. I'd be, be keen to know if any panel manufacturers have realistic installation manuals regarding shade. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be a solar industry disaster in 10 years' time. In the last 10 years, the solar industry has learnt so much. In another 10 years, the industry will have learnt so much more. Maybe we'll find out how badly today's thinly sliced solar cells react to just a little bit of shade. Maybe the quality of installers of 2030 will be removing faulty panels thinking the installers from 2021 were all a bunch of idiots for installing panels in the shade. Or maybe it won't be a problem at all. Who am I to know? But let's say your solar panels start failing in 2031. Maybe due to shade, maybe for another unknown reason. Now, as your installer, I'll try to help you get your panels replaced under warranty. But what if the manufacturer refuses to honour the warranty? They point out that Google Maps shows that the neighbour's trees have grown and that those panels are in partial shade in the winter. You should have read the manual, no excuse. Now this is a problem I don't want to face in 10 years time. So as you might expect, I got my Freedom Fighter hat on. Now as indicated above, MC Electrical install sun power and Q-cell panels. The reason we do this is I strongly believe these are the two best panels on the market. I rate SunPower primarily because of its Maxion cell technology. It's tangibly different and better than any other solar cell. And a few years ago, I visited their head headquarters in California and their manufact manufacturing facility in Mexico. It's a tight ship and a far superior facility than any Chinese solar panel factories that I've visited. Now, Q-cells are easily the solar industry leader in solar panel research and development. Others are just trying to keep up. Look at the recent Q successful Q-cells patent enforcement. And more importantly, Q-cells are the first in the industry to pass the most rigorous TUV Rhineland quality controlled PV testing. There's enough content for a whole other video on Q-cells industry leading testing regime. And finally, out of all of the solar panel factories that I've visited uh, or even heard about, Q-Cell's Korean factory is clearly the winner for quality control and automation. But that doesn't stop me from having a crack at them over their get out of jail free cards. Just because every other panel manufactur man manufacturer gets away with it, Q-Cell's and SunPower shouldn't, should be held to a higher standard. So I contacted both SunPower and Q-Cell's to update their install manual, uh, manuals to reflect reality. Now, SunPower were more open to giving me a statement, but that makes sense with SunPower's Maxion cell. SunPower's Maxion cell has a copper backing that is uniquely designed to handle hotspots. And the SunPower Maxion cell has a lower reverse module voltage, so the bypass diode doesn't need to operate as often. It took four months of back and forwards, but I finally got clarification from SunPower. In essence, they say we can install their panels in the shade as, a, as long as it wasn't permanent shade. We'll get onto that details of that soon. Q cells, on the other hand, were much more reluctant. Mark, they insisted, panels aren't designed to go on the shade. Then they gave me a letter explaining the different risk levels of installing panels in different shade conditions. The more shade, the higher the risk of avoiding the warranty. Now, to be fair, talking with both SunPower and Q cell engineers made me realize that this was not a small problem. These clauses were in the installation manuals for a good reason. There is no doubt that some shade situations will damage a solar panel. But was Q-Cells going to allow us to install panels in partial shade? No matter how good the R&D team are and no matter how good their manufacturing processes is, I can't sell a panel where the warranty might just be void because of occasional shading. And for a while, it looked like Q-Cells were not going to give us much leeway. But after much back and forwards, I finally got the answer that I was looking for. Q-Cells finally gave me a letter stating that, the, that we can install their panels in shaded situations, but just not in constant shade. Now, I'm not going to share those statements publicly. SunPower and Q-Cells have said they will update their install manuals in due course. But effectively, both statements say, 
Don't install your panels in locations where they'll see partial shade all day long. For example, directly behind a whirly bird or a TV antenna. By the way, this would be a classic failure of your $4,000 super special bill buster that you get from a TV ad. And it also says don't install your solar panels behind a parapet wall, permanent edge protection, or an aircon unit. This would be a fairly common mistake on cheap and nasty commercial installations. Now, just as a side note, neither Qcells or SunPower have made any requirements to use microinverters or optimizers in the shade. However, if you install N-phase microinverters on a panel that, are, that is installed in significant and prolonged shade, in my understanding, you'll greatly reduce the chance chance of that panel failing. To their credit, LG is the only panel manufacturer I know of who mentioned the benefits of, of microinverters in prolonged shade. Now that SunPower and QCells have led the way, it's over to the other panel manufacturers. It's time to come clean. As a manufacturer, if you don't want to take the risk of allowing your panels to be installed in the shade, let everyone know about it. Then nobody will install your panels because you know trees grow and birds fly. But if you actually want people to buy your solar panels, then fix up your installation manual. No more ridiculous get out of jail free cards attached to your 25 year panel warranty. That 25 year performance warranty on a cheap Chinese solar panel, or any panel for that matter, is a whole other topic. Who gives a warranty that lasts until the year 2046? Anyway, plenty more interesting stuff coming up. So hit that subscribe button and ding the notification bell. Uh, we'll get some Tygo test results. Um, they're just about ready to be released. The results are, uh, let's just say, concerning. My name's Mark. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.